we're back. This is Lee Quest and Mary at IrishNinjas.com. Uh, what we're going to go over right now is actually editing and maintaining the menu bar across here. So we're going to quickly go through a little review on how to create content and then I'm going to show you how to manage the menus. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hover over create content. We're going to hit page. Um, after we've hit page, we're going to put the title in. We're going to call it uh, Business Phone Systems or Small Business Phone Systems. Just doesn't have to be anything elaborate, just whatever it is you're making it. We're going to list that, excuse me, under uh, several categories. One's going to be services. Um, we can go through here and type, and as we type, if it's already in, if it's not already in, we can create it. If it's already in, it's going to give you uh, a suggestion on something that's already been put into the website. So we're going to put services, phone systems, uh, sales, and anything else that we see relevant. Um, we'll come back to this later, but this is just a way of categorizing several several like pieces of content. Now, this is a telephone service, so actually I think telephony systems is one of the um, yes, we'll go ahead and put that under telephony and then sales. So that'll show up when we click on the telephone page here. I'll open that, open that in a new tab. Um, that's going to show up briefly. Uh, with the with the first paragraph over here when we create the page on the telephony page itself. Now it won't show up in the menu, but we'll get to that later. All right, we're going to go ahead and just kind of fly through this. We now we've created our first sentence. Um, I don't really have a paragraph to write here, so I'm just going to kind of make it look like bunch of verbiage, new paragraph, new paragraph, new paragraph. We've just written a lot of a lot of content here. Now let's say we want the first paragraph to show up on this summary page by itself and then we want to read more. Now what we'll do is, is right here at the end of your first paragraph you're going to go ahead and hover over and separate the teaser and body of this content. That's going to keep create a break in the middle of your page. If you want the, the, the teaser content to show up on the full view, you're going to keep this at show summary and full view. What that does is when we actually click on this page, or say we click on this page here, coverage you can rely on, mobility, you see this paragraph here is there and somewhere in there we've got a break right about here. So what's happening is, is that break is showing only this part on the teaser and it's also showing this part in the full part of the uh, node body. So um, we're going to go ahead and, and put our break in right there and go ahead down to the bottom. Now you're probably wondering how we're going to get this services under telephone services. What we'll do is, in the menu settings, we'll type in small business or whatever you want to call it, phone system, something short that doesn't really extend or beyond the bounds here of the length of our menu drop down. So something, uh, a little summarized version of the title there will be fine. Uh, we'll, we'll call it small business or something along those lines. Now, we want that to show up under telephony. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our primary links parent item and we're going to scroll down and we're going to see you see telephony services here now under the underneath telephony services we've got coverage mobility IP PBX SIP trunk system support these are already uh, articles that are already listed under it and as you can tell by the number of dashes out to the side you can see that these four coverage mobility all the way down to system support are nested underneath telephony services. So when we hit telephony services, that's what this one's going to be under. Now we'll scroll to the bottom and we're going to go ahead and hit save. And we should see that reflected in our new 
drop down. So if we go to telephony services, there you go. Small business. We're right there in plain view. We can click on it. It goes right to our page that we created. Uh, now let's say let's see if we did the teaser break right. We'll go to click on actual telephony services. That's going to give us a brief view of all of them. And as you can see, we've got our teaser paragraph. We hit read more. It's expanded into full fledged paragraph there. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, and that's basically how the menus are set up on this. You can nest any page under any menu that you want to. Um, you can also do multiples. Now, that's just from the creation side of it. Let's say you want to get deep down and really administer these menus. And you, want to, you want menus uh, to link out to other things that might not be on your website. For instance, we might want to create uh, a, menu pass, a menu category uh, under site building. What you'll do, you go to Administer, Site Building, Menus, and let's say in our primary in our primary links, which are these across the top, we want to create nested menus that go out to uh, links such as Google or maybe another phone service or maybe to Sudden Link or something like that. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to uh, click on the primary links because that's where we want to have it and we're going to go ahead and hit um, add an item the path to that item let's say we want to link out to uh, sudden link well, we can go here and grab the url we'll copy that link location mysuddenlinkbusiness.com go ahead and put that in there place that there right now and then uh, we put a description in. This is a link to suddenly. You might want to put something a little more uh, descriptive, but you know, whatever. Anyway, this menu is enabled, and I usually hit every one of these menus expanded by default. Once again, we see our prior, our parent item. We're going to go ahead and put it at the top menu. We're going to call it. Uh, we're going to have it show up somewhere up here and I'm going to hit save and now we've got a menu link called sudden link when we click on that it takes us out to sudden links website fairly easy fairly easy to manage uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that for now because it may not be something that the customer wants so if you wanted to remove that link you'd go to administer site building menus Go ahead and click on primary links. And we're going to go ahead and delete that. Yes. Confirm. That menu's gone. It's no longer at the top. And now let's say we wanted to delete the menu for small business. Now, since small business is an internal page, we can go ahead and click on it. We can go to edit. Scroll to the bottom. Hit delete. This action cannot be done, undone. Hit delete. Lo and behold, no more menu, no more page. It's that simple. We're, um, I guess next we'll probably record uh, a video that's showing you how to manage some of the blocks here, but this should be enough to get you going uh, and help you to manage any aspect of the content written parts of your site. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day.